Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial or more of a quick tip on how to achieve the, one of the style frames that I've done for a project called Face Exploration. Uh, I've had a few people ask me how to do so I just thought uh, why not just do a quick five minutes around that. Um, so let's get started. In um, Xeno 4D, uh, I, I use R17 in this case when I did the style frame. So we're going to go to browser to the preset sculpting and then base mesh and I've used female so just double click and all right comes we don't need the material so let's just get rid of that Over there as well and this is quite tiny so let's make it a bit bigger here we go all right so I used um, dual graph uh, plugin which I will put it on a link on the description and all right let's put it in and as you see nothing much changes and that's because we need to have a triangulated face so I'll just gonna actually add a polygon reduction and here we go and this allows me as well to kind of change the strength based on how many kind of blobs I want let's call it like that put it and you can see now that it's a bit different already uh, which is looking great so let's duplicate this because we're going to make it that world and it's always good to kind of save things if we need to change them okay let's make it that world. and now let's select all the faces and let's do extra inner let's go a bit closer there we go and let's take away the preserved groups and now Okay, that should be about it. So as we're on it as well, let's create the selection tag as we'll need this for later. And let's rename this inner shell. And also let's duplicate it and rename it to outer shell as we're going to use the same base. All right, uh, let's as well like just hide one of them. Pretty much just erase those faces that were selected, and you see already we kind of almost getting that out of our there we want. So what we need to do is just pretty much extrude it and smooth it. So I'm using the cloth surface, um, and uh, again because I can just change the thickness whenever I want. All right, let's try to sounds about good, and then smoothing, and here we go. Let's actually rename this back to outer shell. Let's hide this and show that again. And again, this we want to extrude. And this is where the selection comes. We're going to use the Mo extrude again because it just means that you can just change this later on. And here we just drop the polygon selection which means it's just gonna extrude on that selection let's just change a few things here okay and we don't want it to scale as it extrudes so let's put it back to one and pretty much now we just need to as well smooth it out and here we go so we just put it back the other one and that's it this way of using the more extrude and the, the cloth uh, surface um, it just allows a bit more control so I can just go back and forward and change uh, as I, I wanted you can see there's a few artifacts on the nose and that's because of this they were quite small uh, polygons but overall looks great and uh, it was enough for what I needed for the style frame so as I mentioned previously this was made on R17 there's a way that you can use R19 um, which I'll show now just quickly is um, so let's use the same uh, base and um, instead of using the plugin we're actually going to go to MoGraph and use the Voronoi. So let's add that in and let's go to sources and we, we want to use the point generator but in this case we want much more of what it is so at the moment it's 200 let's maybe see good oh, okay let's actually maybe 250 
right that should be fine for now and here we're gonna now offset it and you see it's gonna create spacing and the new feature on uh, R19 is the invert so as you see we click on it but obviously now we don't we just want it the other side other part so we just click hole and we give it a bit of thickness and here we go it's not exactly the same but still gives a pretty cool effect and now we still divide it uh, I'm missing a bit of the nose there so I'm just actually gonna on the point generator change a bit of the seeds let's see what it's yeah that sounds about good and now we just need to duplicate this And go to Varnoy and you guess it just take away the invert and here we go this one is a bit more detailed than the other one so it's not exactly it's actually just a similar thing but it's just a cool way to do achieve some cool effects with the Voronoi on R19 thanks guys <laughs>